Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Mac Live Channel TV. Welcome back to Transfer Talk. I'm going to get into another rejection in just a minute. Actually, we'll dive into the rejection now. We're going to start off with the rejection FC business, then we're going to move on to some positive business. Hopefully, by the end of this week or the next few days, Joe Pedro news coming, but we are going to just dive straight into the news this morning about Leeds United's Jack Harrison. We know Newcastle had a bid rejected for Harrison a couple of weeks back now, quite a, quite a few weeks back, I think two, three weeks back, we had the bid rejected for Jack Harrison from Leeds, around £20 million. But Newcastle actually went back with another offer, another proposal last week. So they've, they've went back in for Harrison, they haven't gave up on Harrison, just like they're not giving up on Pedro and other names that are still floating around from earlier on in the window. But Jack Harrison, the new offer a couple of days ago was in the region of £25 million over £20 million pounds with add-ons as well for Leeds United's English winger Jack Harrison who played very well yesterday in the game against uh, Chelsea, scored in that game in Ellen Road where Leeds thrashed Chelsea 3-0, he was a constant threat, he was full of energy, he was full of pride, he was, he was at them from the minute go and he was showing what he's capable of as well just like what St Maxman did for Newcastle, Jack Harrison was doing it for Leeds where he was a real nuisance for Chelsea's defenders, a threat going forward, he got his goal, his, his assist record's pretty good as well. You know, he, he can cause big problems when he's when he's on game. Jack Harrison, very highly rated from years gone by when he was at New York City. Frank Lampard really liked him as the coach there. He used to be at the, the City Academy back in the day. Now he's at Leeds and he's been putting up some good numbers in the Premier League for the last couple of years. But the proposal of £25 million is surely Leeds. Leeds have got to accept that. That makes sense for me. I mean, you're getting the English tax put on there for English players. Look at Gibbs Waite. The other day he went to Wolves, man. Well, from Wolves to Forest for £44 million. That is insane. What is going on? But Harrison, for me, I think £25 million is a very fair offer. I would say that's exactly how much he's worth, actually. I think that we've nailed that and they should have accepted that. But Leeds know the way the market's going because he's English. They've already sold the two best players in Rafinha and Phillips, so they don't want to let the third best player go in Harrison. Um, and they don't need the money now since they've got big, big money for, for Rafinha and especially Calvin Phillips from Man City. So they're in no panic to buy, no rush to buy. Maybe if Harrison came out and wanted to force the move, that could see us going again with that little bit more in the, in the, in the transfer to actually happen. But Leeds last week, we'll quickly read out uh, what happened. He did, he did get a goal and an assist yesterday against Chelsea as well, but he's 25-year-old Harrison. And the performances that he's produced for, for Leeds have generated interest amongst Many clubs, including Newcastle, who have put in the two official bids now. Um, Leeds have made it clear they've got no intention of selling Harrison, but it hasn't put Newcastle off the England under-21 international. Played for them, obviously, in the past. Trying to get at the England side now as well as Harrison. Contract runs out in the summer of 2024, so he hasn't got that long left on his deal, less than two years. He's going to have to sign a new one, or if Leeds wait out and they don't accept it this year, next year he could go for a lot cheaper. Remains to be seen what happens on that one. Will Newcastle try and up it a, a couple of million more, maybe 28 million, something like that? Try and chuck in maybe a player that, that's on our fringes that's not going to get a game of Leeds. We're interested in any Newcastle players there. Wait and see if that one develops. What is looking very likely to develop though this week is Jao Pedro and Newcastle. Now, Newcastle have not gave up on Jao Pedro and are proposing a final offer. Now, Keith Downey actually came out and said that they're going to go back in for a second offer, which caused a bit of confusion in, um, on, on, on Twitter and whatnot, because Fabrizio Romano was reporting just a couple of days ago that Newcastle had verbally put in their final offer of £30 million. So verbally obviously being the difference between official. Now, have Newcastle put that verbal offer in for 30 They're getting the right signs and signals from Watford's hierarchy that that will be enough to sell João Pedro. Will Newcastle now put that official bid in if they are getting the green light in terms of the deal happening. I mean, it looks that way. If, Down if Keith Downey is about to say that Newcastle are putting in another bid for him, if the verbal thing was true from Romano, then it does look as if Newcastle have said, look, at, we are prepared to pay this. Would you accept it? And it looks, it looks like they're coming out saying yes. Um, so you could see big, big movement on Joe Pedro and Newcastle in the next few days, I think. I think this one is going to happen now. I do actually think this one's going to happen now because we haven't gave up on it. Pedro desperately wants the move. I mean, any player watching Newcastle yesterday would want that move for me. When you've seen the way we play football now, you've seen the atmosphere at St. James's Park, you'd be mad not to want to play for this team and under Eddie Howe. We're doing bits. So Pedro obviously in the championship as well at Watford. He's obviously going to want that move back to the Premier League, but to play with fellow Brazilians 
in Bruno Guimaraes and Joe Linton. He's going to be all over it. He's going to be all over it. So it's looking likely that this one will happen now for me. Um, if Newcastle are, as it's said, I believe from Sky Sports, going to go in for another offer on Pedro, you're talking 25 million plus add-ons easy here. You know what I mean? That was apparently what was rejected the other day. Apparently Watford want to hold out for around 35, but I'm, I'm thinking now that that 30 is going to be enough. I think maybe 25 plus add-ons that make it go to 30 when he reaches X amount of goals or, or appearances for Newcastle in the Premier League then it'll happen. But I think I think João Pedro is going to be the one. I think Newcastle are fully focused on Pedro now to be competition for Callum Wilson, to compete out wide for Miguel Almiron's place. And look, at I've, I've been open about Pedro since um, since he was linked with Newcastle. I said I wasn't excited by it. I think all the names have been linked this summer. I wasn't a big fan of it. His stats in the Premier League on great three goals, one assist last year. Yes, it was in a struggle in Watford, I'd say, but Dennis and Saw did well enough in that team. Pedro looks to be coming to Newcastle now. I'm going to back him, obviously, if he signs, which I do think he will now. I think he'll, I think he'll come to Newcastle this week, Joe Pedro. Um, and when he signs, back him all the way. And when you look at the transformations that Eddie Howe's done throughout this team, in particular with the Brazilian, Joe Linton, um, hopefully he can get his, his fellow countryman right up to speed there and, and give him a chance. He is only young. He's about to turn 21. So he's got his whole career ahead of him. There must be some from that Ashrath and Howe see in Pedro, albeit obviously further down the list of targets than, than we obviously wanted as a forward. Like, so obviously, Hugh Ekitiki being top of that list. But listen, Pedro comes in, back him all the way. Hopefully, Eddie Howe can get a tune out of him in the training ground, build him up, give him a chance. He is young. Let's go for it. If, if, if they're trusting him, then I'll trust him then, because after yesterday as well, one of the best performances I've ever seen from Newcastle side. So, so João Pedro, the Newcastle native, for £30 million, 21 year old Brazilian forward signing from Watford this week is my prediction as Newcastle look to put in a, another bid, whether that be the second bid, the third bid, a verbal bid, a proper bid. The official bid will be going in very soon for Pedro. Probably by it. I'm, editing, I'm doing this video now at 3 o'clock on a Monday. It's probably going to go out at 6 or 7 o'clock. It'll probably be done by the time it's really out, now in my luck. But if it's not, I would expect the bid to be coming in very soon. And I think that bid will be accepted. Pedro did not play for Watford on the weekend. They said he had a slight groin strain or some bollocks like that because it is bollocks. He wants to move. Watford are probably thinking, you know what, there's no point in keeping an unhappy player there. That is a lot of money for us. Watford can use that 30 million and go out and sign three very good championship players and get them promoted. That's the way they've got to look at it. And it's best for Pedro's development and future if he wants to come here, which he does. Like I said, they can benefit Watford for money so they can sign new players to try and get promotion. So I think Joe Pedro at Newcastle United will be happening this summer, if not this week, for me. 30 million, around 30 million mark for Watford's forward in Newcastle. Let me know in the comments below what you make of the links to João Pedro and Jack Harrison. Would you go back in for both players? You've got to pick one. Who are you choosing? You know, Harrison predominantly plays on the left, where St. Maximum plays, but he can play on the right, so you could swap those two and intertwine them. Pedro normally plays as a centre forward, right where Wilson plays. So obviously back up for him, come off the bench, get his minutes up. Play on the right if Almiron's not on form or the left if Maxi's not doing well. There's options there to be fair, and that's, that is a good thing about Pedro that he's comfortable across the front line. Um, so, yeah, we'll see We'll see what happens with those. Drop your comments below, subscribe to my channel TV, and I'll see you on the next one.